Hey everyone, it's the holidays here at the Rustin Hill Trailer Park. Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! Merry Christmas to all of our viewers out there! My boot bells are ringing! My boot bells are ringing! Anytime you have a sweater with bells on it, you know it's special! <laughs> so, who loves Christmas cookies? We do! Well, we're going to make up some Christmas cookies today. It's one dough that gives you two Christmas cookies. Isn't that special? It's so special. We're going to pop the cork. We're going to have it's some champagne. Happy holidays. We love the holidays. It is. Now be careful. Be okay, careful. here we go. Okay. All right. Uh, be careful. Oh, gosh. I can feel my eye popping out already. You're just going to hit me with the eye. Oh, God. Okay. Yay. We're good. Woo. All right. I will have a glass in this special uh, free glass from Arby's when you bought a roast beef. <laughs> I think this is Shut my up! They're my grandma's Christmas crystal. Finery. There we go. My grandma's mm. crystal. Lovely bouquet. Very fruity. There you go. Yes. Cheers. Happy holidays, my dear. Yes. Mm. Ooh, wait. I'm going to make my... Okay. Ooh, cool. That's good. Oh, mm -hmm. boy. I'll tell you. That gets me horizontal like you don't know. All right. All right. So, let's, go. let's make some cookies. We're gonna make this real simple. That's the best thing about these. We're gonna start off with two cups of butter. You want that softened so that it blends nice and easily. We're gonna mix in our dough. Then we're gonna add a cup and a half of sugar. La 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 la. Now this sounds like a lot, but again, we're making a lot of dough for two cookies. So this is four cups of flour, and I've got just a little bit of salt in there. I'm not gonna add that yet. We are gonna add in one, uh, what is this? A teaspoon of almond extract. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want, oh, doesn't that smell heavenly? Oh, I'm yeah. telling you, honest to God, hey. You put a little bit of that behind each ear. Mmm, that'll what? get the man. Yeah. Rawr, rawr, rawr. They can't resist you. Now, if you want to, you can use, uh, um, this is almond, but you can use vanilla extract. You yeah. can use lemon extract. Those are all good options. But I like the almond because then you can use this dough in another cookie that we're going to make. So we're going to turn this on. <laughs> This is what you call creaming the butter. So you know when this is done, when the butter becomes a really nice texture, almost like whipped butter. Let's see how this is looking so we can show the viewers if they did it right. Look at that. So see, it's all kind of like, mm, buttery. but it looks a little bit like cotton candy sort of, doesn't it? Butter yeah. and sugar? Just, just, just oh, tell me it does. Can I stick my in no, do not stick oh, your finger please. in there, no. Okay, oh my gosh, stop it's butter and sugar. It's, um, oh my God, that's so good. Later on, I'll let you lick the beaters. Mm -hmm. I might even turn them off this time. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this back on, on slow, or maybe medium, and then we're going to slowly add in our flour. Now you want to do this a little bit at a time. The reason is so that the flour doesn't fly out everywhere if you add it all at once. You're gonna, it's going to just make a big old mess. So you're just going to add it a little bit at a time. And you can see it's starting to turn into a dough already. Now the two cookies that we're gonna make are gonna be a slice and bake cookie. We're gonna make those. And I'm gonna make a German chocolate cookie out of this dough. Do you like German chocolate, honey? Yes, because you have the German in you. I like a little German in me. <laughs> I like a little chocolate in me too. Yeah. It's all good. The cookie mistress. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not turning into dough. You forgot the milk. I forgot the milk we Please. need. What would you do without me? One quarter cup of sweetened condensed milk. We're going to pour that in there. Oh. Sweetened condensed milk is yummy, by the way. I know. Okay, so we're mixing, we're mixing. You know, the baby Jesus loved cookies. I know. True story. That's why we make them every year. True story. Okay, oh. so here's our dough. We've got it nice and mixed up here. It's a little bit crumbly, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and have some of that if you want. It's got a beautiful almond flavor, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I didn't put some behind my ear. And like I said, you could use peppermint extract and make peppermint cookies if you wanted to, lemon cookies, but we're gonna do almond because we're gonna make two different kinds, all right? Mm. Mm, I'm gonna have a little bit of help. Happy kitchen dance. That's the oh. thing about cooking is you get to sample. What we're gonna do now, my uh -oh. dear, 
it's, it's your turn to do a little bit of work for me. I better have some more. So we're gonna um, we're gonna roll this cookie dough out into a log so that we can slice it up because these are slice and serve cookies. So I'm gonna give you we're gonna do well, let's do a cup full. That's a little bit more than a cup. So here's a cup. Now I want you to take that. And I want you to roll it into a log about eight inches long. You, you know what eight inches is like, don't you? Yeah, but I got. I'm gonna tell you, I am not. I am not a, you, with my hands. With your hands, honey. Yes. Well, I'll do one with you. I'm okay, not so we're a gonna, good roller. We're gonna put this together. Oh, it's like play doh. Yeah, it's cookie dough. That's why they call it dough, play doh. And you're just gonna roll it. I see you like way better than. Well, and now we're just making a mess here. Oh, mine isn't eight inches. You gotta get eight inches out of this. You've had eight inches in your hands before. Trust me. There <laughs> we go. That's my ex-husband number. Four. No, are you kidding? He wasn't eight inches. He's Asian. Ah, <laughs> okay. No, no. I'm talking about the one that left me all the money. Oh. Okay, so here's mine. And yours oh, yours is, is looking good. Oh, I don't know. You want I, it to be nice no, and even because, again, we're going to slice these and we're going to bake them up. It keeps... No. Here, let me... Let's switch. There you go. Okay. So um, once we have these rolled, we're going to have three rolls of these because we're going to do three cups from our master dough. We're going to wrap these in saran wrap or cling wrap, and we're going to pop them in the refrigerator for an hour. We're going to do that so they become nice and solid and we can slice them, all right? So we can wrap those up. Let's, why don't you try one more, sugar pie? Okay. Just give it, just give it a shot. All right. I'm going I'm I'm to do better this more. time, I promise. Okay. Here, I'm going to put this over here. Okay, here you go. All right. Okay, roll that up. So while she's doing that, I am going to make my German chocolate cookies. So I have got two cups of my dough left here from our start. I'm going to mix in some toasted coconut. I'm going to mix in some mini chocolate mor morsels. That's going to be the chocolate portion of the, um, of the treats. And... I have um, some graham cracker um, crumbs. Now, you can buy these where you buy the pre-made pie crusts at the grocery store. All grocery stores have them. You may have to look around. Or you can crush your own if you are if you have that much time on your hands. Put those in there. Okay. So, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to start slowly. And just mix that all together. So easy. So nice. How are you doing? Look at that! Way to go, doll face. Oh, <laughs> so now my dough is all set for my German chocolate uh, cookies. What we're going to do is we're going to set this dough in the refrigerator for an hour. We're going to wrap these in saran wrap and set these in the refrigerator for an hour. And then we'll go on to step two, all right? Give us one second. Okay. Hi, welcome back. It's been an hour and our dough is nice and firmed up as you can see. Look Firm. at that. She's unwrapped one. Now you are going to slice these in about a half inch slices. See how nicely they slice? This is because we refrigerated them for That's an hour. Nifty. And she's just going to set them on the tray there. Nifty. On the parchment paper. On the parchment paper. I love parchment paper. Too skinny? Parchment? That's good, sugar pot. You, you know, there's no, that's a little thick. There we go. Right. I was just going to say you can't do it wrong. So now here's my, excuse me, pardon. Here's my dough. I'm just going to, I have a cookie scoop. If you don't have one of these, I recommend it. A cookie scoop just makes for nice, even cookies. If you don't have one, though, these are about rounded teaspoons, okay? You can actually cook these together on the same tray. How nutty is that? They're going to cook. They're not nutty at all. There's They're gonna no nuts. Cook. In, is there nuts in there? They're going to cook for uh, 8 to 10 minutes at 350. If you want to put them on separate trays, it's not a bad idea because sometimes these mounds take a little bit longer to cook, but you can cook them off at once. That's fine too. I ate one. And no, there are no nuts in here, but if you have a nut allergy in your family, make sure you check the box instructions, especially on the graham cracker crumbs because they may have some Oops. sort of a nut problem in there. I don't know. Oh, How are you doing? Have, I got a lot of nut problems in my family, but it's not from allergies. Okay. Now, we're, oh, this is a lot. Well, oh, you cut thick. a lot. That's too thick. But um, what we're going to do now is these little almond cookies, if you'd like, you can actually decorate these and now is the time to do it. So you can take some, um, we have got some colored sugar here. 
This is red sprinkles. Sprinkle them on there. Cool. And we've got some holiday jimmies. Holiday jimmies. Sing it with me, Cynthia. Holiday jimmies. Okay, maybe you don't. Jimmies for the okay. holidays. Maybe, maybe not Johnny's, stop with the but jimmies. Okay. Not Sam's or Mike's or Bob's, but so, jimmies. We've got our cookies Our right cookies, here. Yeah. We're going to pop these in the oven. And again, look at all this dough. So you're going to make a lot of cookies with this one dough, two different kinds. But we're just going to stop here and make these for you. I'm going to pop these right in the oven. And here we are, our Christmas cookies. Woo! Look it's at how fantastic. lovely they have turned out. Go ahead and try one, Dollface. I uh, already tried a raw one, so now I'm going to try a baked one. Delicious. Now, here's our little German chocolate cookies. If you want to, you can oh. add a little bit of schmutz to it, some little chocolate frosting. I'm just using canned frosting here. You don't have to, though. These are delicious just on their own. You can even dip them in jimmies if you want to or crushed nuts. There you go. Look at how cute that is. Are they yummy? They're yummy with some champagne. They're yummy with some champagne. There you go. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, that's good. Happy holidays to you and yours from the gang at Ruthie's Bitch and Kitchen. And what do we always say, Cynthia? Wherever you're cooking. Wherever you're cooking, the, the kitchen, kitchen is bitching. Bitchin'. Happy holidays, everyone. Oh, Cheers. Happy, Happy holidays. holidays. Mwah. kitchen.